Hey guys, this is Woody back again with a uh, another interesting find. Well, I found it interesting, and <clears throat> and hopefully uh, you guys will too. So, um, came across a problem where uh, when an external caller would reach uh, a voicemail box, after 60 seconds the call would be cut off. Now, in Unity settings, we have it set to 300 seconds, which um, obviously that's five minutes and that's what we want right 60 seconds at times can be um, too short so I, mean, I was scratching my head as to why you know just what was happening and I looked online and I found some things on you know this was this would be happening if you had like a uh, if you were running like MGCP had a gateway yada yada we don't have any of that we're just, we're sip to sip and you know we're all sip shop and and so I felt like none of that really applied <clears throat> and and it it's, it half applied and I'll and I'll show you kind of explain here in a little bit. Um, but uh, what was happening is um, when you have a call, you have two call legs, right? So you have and then in both call legs, usually you have the RTP stream going in either direction um, when you're talking to somebody. But what was happening is once um, you hit the voicemail on um, the called side, um, there was no return RTCP traffic or technically RTP traffic at all um, um, and so there's a there's some timers on there there's like an RTC report interval and a, a timer receive RTCP timer and what happens is it, it looks for that RTP stream or RTCP um, stream and and it, and it says okay after a certain amount of time if I don't detect any RTP or, T or RTCP traffic, I'm going to end the call, and that will obviously help if there's any like hung calls on the on the router or anything. And so, those timers were set to 60 seconds, and so that's why it was getting cut off at 60 seconds. But those timers can be adjusted. But there's two of them, um, and I'll kind of uh, I'll show you right here. Um, so if we look right here. We have uh, this is the configure the SIP media interactive timer. Um, so there's two different um, commands that we need to look at. First is the IP RTCP report interval command, and then the second is the timer receive RTCP command. And it says to, to enable detection of RTCP packets by the gateway. So basically, this is what happens: is you have this variable. Right, which is uh, looks like it's from two to a thousand, which default I believe is five. This uh, number is timed, times by whatever um, this IP RTCP report interval uh, in, um, number is, and this is in milliseconds. So ours was uh, before on our router. Um, this is what it was set to. This this command or this um, yeah, this command, the timer was set to 5, and this one was set to 12,000, which um, is 60,000, which 60,000 milliseconds is 60 seconds. So how that, how that works is um, every uh, 12 seconds, so 12,000 milliseconds is 12 seconds, so every 12 seconds um, it would check for RTCP traffic. And it would do that five times since this timer was five. So five times twelve is sixty. Sixty thousand milliseconds, sixty seconds. So that's these are the two numbers that we have to ma manipulate. And I'll leave some notes in the bottom that if you if I'm not explaining it well, um, then you can look at some math on the screen and and kind of understand a little bit better. But let me show you how to check for those timers. So if this is uh, well, I can open up our current one. So I'll open up our current one, um, but if we do, oh shoot, show run, did I pass it? No, right here, uh, right here, IP RTCP report interval uh, is set to 60,000 uh, right now, but it was set to 12,000. So, and um, the only way to really look at uh, the other one was uh, go gateway. Uh, let me pull up my my thing here. Uh, some notes that I 
wanted to take. Okay, so yeah, I'll just type it out for you. So timer receive RTCP, and then we hit question mark, and it gives us a value four to one thousand, and it says of uh, multiples of RTCP report yada 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 value of five recommended, which it is five. Okay, so put it in there. It's not gonna not gonna matter. Um, so what's going to happen is every 60,000 milliseconds or 60 seconds every minute, it's going to it's going to check for the RTCP traffic, and it's going to do that five times. One minute, 60 seconds times five is five minutes. There you go. It's 300 seconds. So that's it. It was that simple. I mean, but finding that information, at least for me, was hard. I like I. I had come across um, I'd come across this uh, well a, a colleague of mine had kind of put me onto onto this and we were kind of scratching our heads because we're like hey well we don't really have a gateway we don't we don't use that gateway function so we were thinking okay it's got to be something else uh, but it's not um, well and we also ran into some errors which I'm going to show you so I, I I was thinking that it it wasn't working but um, but yeah, so I'll show you on our other router because our other routers they're defaulted right now to um, 12,000 12, milliseconds. So show run. This is our Korea router. Okay, let's see if we have it here, right here. 12,000, and this is the obviously the IP RTCP report interval, and the other one, um, the timer receive RTCP is the value is by default is set to five. So it's this is 60 seconds. Um, not a whole. I don't think these guys. We haven't had any. Compl I don't know. I don't remember if we have voicemail for these guys. I think we do. Pretty sure we do. Yes, we do. Um, but we haven't had any complaints, so I haven't actually changed it yet. Um, and I can. It's not going to hurt anything if I do change it now. Um, but it's a smaller office. There's only a handful of people, so 60 seconds to leave a voicemail message may be fine. Um, but like I said, I can change it at any time and it's not a problem. But we're going to run through this real quick and uh, show you how it's done. And I'm going to show you the error that I was getting um, because uh, it kind of threw me for a loop too. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to go to config T. We're going to go to gateway. Okay. Okay. I apologize every time you're going to hear these like beeps every time I, I mess up, so I'm going to try to mitigate that. Just the program that I'm using. But anyway, okay, so we go timer receive RTCP value, and again we hit uh, the question mark. Let's so we're going to do five, right? And again, we can change this if we want to do um, if, if we did six thousand milliseconds and we did the timer RCP. I'm sorry. The timer receive RTCP to 10. That would give us the same amount, right? 60,000. 60, uh, so it'd be one minute. Um, so, I mean, you can mix and match however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but we hit enter, and you say non DSP based inactivity detection is set. Okay, so the error that I was getting was let's see here. What uh, I was getting media. Yeah, oh, man. RTCP. Huh. This is not the. Uh, oopsie, I'm sorry, guys. This is not the error. I thought it would be defaulted on here. Maybe it was just for the the 4431s. But what I'll do is I'll show you what I have here. So. What was happening is uh, no timer. Okay, so I was getting this error when I was putting in this command right here with a value of five. Um, I was getting this error. Timer media inactive DSP based detection is already configured and it takes precedence. Unconfigure timer media inactive to enable non DSP based detection to take effect. And so what I had to do is um, I had to put in this command no timer media inactive. So, uh, timer media inactive five 
Okay, so now let's see if if we can get this to go here. Let me see if I can just replicate this this error I was getting. And if I can, great. If I can't, that's fine. Oh, see, that's weird. I can have them both. See, in the 4431s, I couldn't have both. I was getting an error. Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to copy this command real quick. See if I get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, weird. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well. There we go. So, anyway, I can't replicate it, but that's okay. I showed you again here. If you get if you get this error, just negate this timer media inactive command and then reapply the timer receive RTCP with a value of five or, or whatever and it should be fine. I, I was getting this error and I got it kind of hung up for a second um, and I was like oh maybe you know I was confused and thinking maybe that's not what it is again because we're not using it as a you know it's not, it's not like a like a Cisco gateway type configuration with like MGCP so anyway that's why I was getting hung up but it doesn't matter so um, <clears throat> okay <clears throat> let's do this I'm just going to say no to this. Okay, none do you, Okay, anyway, I was just reading that error. Okay, so what we want to do then is we will exit here. <clears throat> and then... Um, Let's put in this. Uh, interval. Okay, so if we hit question mark here, we'll see um, that we have one through like sixty five thousand. right? So again, I have it. I have the other one set to sixty thousand, so I'll do right here. I'll set it to sixty thousand. So what's gonna happen again is every every minute it's gonna check for RTCP traffic. If it detects it, it'll it'll um, Re, the timers will reset. If it doesn't detect it after five times, which is five minutes, it will end the call. And so, which gives us, uh, um, which is equal to what we have set in Unity at 300 seconds. So, boom, that's it. That's the whole um, gist of this uh, video. So, um, I'm going to leave some links, references, and links in the bottom of the video, or I'm sorry, in the notes. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, but this was, um, I spent a couple days on this actually trying to figure it out because I've never messed with these RTCP, uh, you know, report interval or timers or anything. So um, I had not never run across it before, so it was a learning curve for me. But hopefully someone will watch this video and, and they'll be able to find it, you know, be able to fix if, if they run into that issue fairly quickly. I'm surprised that if the default is 12,000 on some of these routers, that more people haven't ran into it because I I searched the forums I I, mean, I, I googled this thing to death and uh, I couldn't for the life of me I couldn't find anything specific to this issue uh, there was a there was a couple off references but they they were similar but they were also different so it wasn't like my exact problem so I'm surprised that there's not more information on this so hopefully I spread spread the word get that information out there because I think it's uh, I think it's valuable. So, all right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.